Hi, my name is Sean Kavanagh. I'm a PhD student in the groups of David Scanlon at UCL and Aaron Walsh at Imperial. And my research is focused on the use of computational modeling to understand, discover, and design um, new solid state materials for applications such as solar photovoltaics, batteries, and thermoelectrics. Here, I'm going to briefly describe um, my poster titled Defect Tolerance, Perfect Imperfection, um, which gives a snapshot of one of our primary research focuses. So you might think that 400 years after the scientific revolution, we would be capable, capable of manufacturing uncorrupted materials without faults or deformities. Unfortunately, however, this is physically impossible for real macroscopic materials. So like the small uh, random mutations in human DNA, which facilitate evolution, all solid materials contain faults in the arrangement of their atoms known as defects. A missing atom here or an, an atom in the wrong place there, for example. Uh, even though these atomic mistakes may occur only once for every billion normal atoms, like DNA, they can significantly alter the resulting macroscopic properties. Just as a single genetic mutation can change your eye color from uh, brown to blue, a tiny amount of these defects uh, can kill device performance in a range of important technologies, such as solar cells, batteries in electric vehicles, pacemakers on iPhones, or even the LEDs in your TV and phone screens. In particular, defects present a tremendous barrier to the solar cell industry, being in fact the primary limiting factor for the development of efficient low-cost solar cells, which of course is an absolute necessity if solar renewable energy is to compete with fossil fuels and support a green economy. The problem is that, um, as illustrated in the main figure, uh, defects inhibit the efficient generation of electricity in solar panels, thereby requiring the use of expensive, sophisticated processing techniques in order to mitigate their effects and produce high performance devices. It is this requirement for carefully controlled manufacturing procedures that has kept solar cell costs too high to legitimately compete with fossil fuels. So one of the most exciting strategies currently being explored to achieve high performance with low cost is the use of so-called defect tolerant materials. Um, so these are materials which retain uh, high solar cell efficiencies despite large concentrations of defect. So an extremely rare phenomenon. And if engineered correctly, these materials can be produced at very low cost and may even be 3D printed while still performing uh, just as well as current state-of-the-art solar technologies. As such, these wonder materials could revolutionize the energy sector, making the dream of cheap renewable energy a reality. Unfortunately, however, the few defect tolerant compounds identified thus far have come with other problems, namely poor stability, you know, solar cells are no good if they deteriorate after a couple of weeks, um, and toxicity, so you don't want a solar cell uh, or solar panel that could kill you. As such, enormous research efforts are now being devoted to understanding the chemistry which gives rise to defect tolerance with the aim of them discovering and designing new defect tolerant materials which are stable, non-toxic and earth abundant. In our lab, we use quantum mechanical calculations to understand the atomic properties of these materials and their defect before then leveraging this understanding uh, to search unexplored chemical space for materials that fit this criteria as depicted in this diagram here on the left. Uh, given that there are trillions of compounds and materials yet to be discovered, scientists are hopeful that we will, we will soon find the needle in the haystack that meets these requirements. We've recently published an article on this topic here, so if you're interested, please check it out, um, and thank you for your time and attention.